And more aluminum broadheads. Oh yeah, we're gonna have so many arrows now, I won't care. Alright, all for uh, a little bit of torch cost. I need to remember duct tape so we can repair things in the vehicle. I don't remember. Is there anything else I cared about? I can't uh, can't read the books that are upstairs or downstairs. Don't care about most of the bedroom contents. I don't think I need anything else. Guess I should take my flu shot. Put the tank away. Hmm. Activate flu shot. The drinking one? Yeah, drinking hat. Improvised harness can be worn over other headgear by itself, made from two small liquid containers, a rubber hose, a bundle of steel wire, and some cordage. Convenient and simple device for hands-free drinking, though it's not watertight and would spill if you put it in your backpack. <laughs> Alright, so this one's done. Again, they all started running. Yeah, I'm going to have to test the uh, startup sound. Let's keep an eye on the sound indicator. So, turn off. It says sound zero. <laughs> now it says sound 24. I don't know. I think there's something weird about the sound. It's either not reporting it to me or it's overriding the initial sound with a zero result a second later. I don't think it's telling me the truth. This is the part I dislike, traveling at night. Can't see around me to see ventilation shafts or body sights or airdrops. Yeah, yeah, enough of the crater explosions.
Hmm. Well, that's interesting looking. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Crater right on top of the building. Uh, I didn't bring the welding goggles. Dang it. And I think I need light, too. Oh, never mind. Apparently I can do that in the dark. What do we got? Damaged gear. Some food. Stuff I don't care about. More stuff I don't care about. No arrows? Yet? Wow, not a single thing of arrows. Hmm, all right. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go to the north side of town. Ah, we got Migos at the north side of town. Come on, Migo, come down and play with the zombies. Actually, I don't want the Migo to play with the zombies. I don't want them anywhere near where I'm going. Well, here he comes into town to kill some zombies anyway. All right, so that's a little problematic. Security van? Security van. I think I'll just stop here. We'll just run down the road. things a little interesting. I'm not going to deal with that. Could do the old flip the light on, pull these guys away, and then relocate. I just got to be really cautious because of my lack of stamina in this character. Hmm. 
worried about going north and getting a uh, Migo on me. So close. I'm still not sure which is the front of the building. Maybe going this way would be better. For the long way around. Hey, look, another heavy duty cargo truck. No controls. All right, carbon fiber, aluminum broadhead. Four hundred and eighty five rounds of rat shot. <laughs> Shall we see if this one has multiple uh, IR goggles? Yep. Or light amp goggles. Something is definitely weird. I do have this world set on one point oh, right? It's just a standard world. Item spawn scaling factor, 1.0. Now we're three for three on light amp goggles and hunting supplies. Actually, we're three or we're, we're, we're four for three. <laughs> weird. Weird, weird, weird. So many light amp goggles. Let me know. I want to find fitted steel-toed sneakers. Uh, I think... That's right, I can't wear those. I'm not carrying the rifle case with me. I just wanted to pick up a different AR. We won't worry about it. Uh, no, items don't evolve over time. As your character moves around the world. So, the world is a, is effectively infinite. It's only limited by the amount of space on your hard drive. It'll keep generating ahead of you as you travel. But it does it in stages. So first it creates an overworld map chunk, which is what this is. It's actually much bigger than this one screen. It actually goes down about... Oh that far and then across about that far so it's a huge square that it generates when it generates that it's just generating the general terrain though it puts in the roads and the towns designates where buildings are and that's it your character has a reality bubble that's about two and a half squares in each direction around his current position that's where the fully simulated world takes place so as you move around, that reality bubble moves around with you. And as the reality bubble approaches new areas, it then generates the items, the monsters, the vehicles, the stuff that's in the houses, and so on. And it uses the multiplier for the items to determine how many items are going to be in a location. So if you have a double item spawn, houses are going to have twice as much food and twice as much of the other stuff. But the loot they have... It the types of loot is fixed. So a house has a list of loot possibilities that's fixed. It's just that more of that same type of loot will, will be in that location. It's not that it will evolve or get fancier or fancier as time goes by. It doesn't work that way. It just has to do with how much loot is placed in the location from its applicable loot tables when your reality bubble enters the area of that location. 
I just wanted to make sure because of the amount of items I'm seeing and how many of them seem to be lighting up goggles that I didn't accidentally have my world set to more than 1.0. I was sure I hadn't, but, you know, just wanted to double check, triple check. Uh, so this is a metalworking shop, which means there are supplies in here that we could find useful normally. Flat jaw tongs, carbon steel, fun books about crafting under the hood. Yeah, we got plenty of welding gear now, too. Too bad I can't take and read under the hood. Sure could use that. A welding cart in perfect condition also that has a vehicle welding rig. So if I rip that out and take it with me, we would uh, be able to install that in our vehicle and get some repairs done a little easier. I still don't have an engine crane. I'm not sure I could find a spot in here where I wouldn't get uh, maybe that corner there. And then if we hide... Turn on our light. Remove welding rig. Oh, I need mechanics too. Damn it. <laughs> Turn candle off. So we'll make a note. Welding rig. Vehicle. Er. Welding rig. Well, that's been looted. Vehicle welding rig. I don't see anything else I care about in this town. We've now got a big old pile of welding material. If I can get that welding rig before we leave this area, that'd be nice. I'll need to spend that time I talked about earlier getting our mechanics up to two. And then three. Three is what I want. That'll get most of the repairs done on vehicles that I might come across. So we'll just have to remember it. Come back after I've got some uh, more skill. I guess I could try dragging it out with me. Jeez, more welding rods. Not sure how I'd get it over the fence. I'd have to eh, I'd have to smash the fence to get it out that way. That or I have to open the door here. And then open a fence and then drag it through. Yeah, I don't think I want to try that adventure. <laughs> Let's not do that. Alright, got people in the back alley with me. This is what I don't like. These little narrow alleyways, because there could be something right adjacent to me when I come out. Eh, that's not too bad. I think we can make this little corner here. Eh. Yeah, I could probably get that out, but we shouldn't have a problem getting back in to get it later once we get our mechanic skill up anyway. Oh, let's drop some of the stuff in the other side. Um, All right, well, now I just need to go park somewhere and sleep till the morning. We are tired, so sleeping till the morning would be good anyway. And again, those guys coming at me is expected. They were close enough. They should have heard it.
All right, I have a multivitamin, some butter, some cheese, a yogurt, and some hydration. Yeah, I should probably turn that off. We'll see how much healing I get while I sleep. I can't wait to see how much I get. Overweight, that's fine. All right, my intent was to scoot along the edge of this city to see what might be on the outer edge, but it's looking like the good stuff's buried way deep. I think this is going to be all uh, residential, so it's not really going to be helpful. So I think instead, I will uh, just tootle up, check these endpoints, check these, and then we'll see what to do from there. We're still looking for a science lab, research facility, air vent shaft. I really don't want to go down into subway tunnels. That's a steel mill next to a shooting range. Uh, shooting range and steel mill so neither of those are useful to me and then an apple orchard another one's not useful to me uh, all right oh we got gas masks and gas mask charges in this camp gas mask charges oxygen tanks gas masks a flamethrower I don't think I'll be worrying that much about gas. We'll pick up additional charges as we fight soldier zombies anyway. And we've got enough for er, use for a while. That's the busted mobile meth lab. I don't need any of that. Oh yeah, I still need to hit... Uh, need to find a junkyard? UPS another lab coat or lab uh, site don't care don't care don't care junkyard would be great we need to get a lifting tool that's one of the few things remaining that I can think of that we might actually need slash want slash use especially for uh, for vehicle work Mechanics 3, a lifting tool, and that welding cart. Ah. Well, that's no good. That's just going to lead out that way. Another LMOE. -erg. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm aware of how to get to mechanics too. I'm just not in the mood to actually do it. Not overly concerned yet because I don't plan on working on this vehicle. So, just gathering up the various things that I'll need for the next vehicle. <laughs> Back down there, we had the helipad and other potential things, places to go. This is pretty much unknown territory. I think I'm just going to flip around and head back south.
Yep, three to four is the tough one. One to three, pretty easy. Three to four is the hard one. If you're trying to do it just from working on vehicles. <laughs> Diesel's starting to get a little low. We've got what, like one full jerry can, I think, still to stick into the vehicle? stick around for another night cycle just to get to that other hunting supply store I see in the corner over there. That's not too far a trip if we wanted to try to make it for another one, but we've got enough arrows now. I don't think it's going to matter that much, and we'll keep running into them as we travel. So I think I'll pass that opportunity up. Hi there, fungal flowers. Go, fungal, go. I think we're still in that period of early daylight where they can't actually see me if I start running around right now. I just don't know how long it'll last and I don't want to risk the character trying to run in and check this garage for an engine crane. <laughs> Trying to see as many streets as I can for uh, trying to locate a, a vehicle, a Humvee. And now we gotta go up and around. Well, hi there, amoebic mold. That usually means there's a body site or a portal nearby. Did you drop a body site inside a house? I think they did, but I'm not going to get to see where it is in there. Ah, uh, the UI is completely configurable, so... Completely moddable configurable. How it looks, what elements are included, not included, where they're located. All of that stuff can be, uh, can be changed on the fly nowadays. But yes, it is a uh, pretty complex game to jump into dry. <laughs> Is why I do so much tutorial new player help work. But the fun to dollar ratio 
is uh, it's pretty high since it costs absolutely nothing. And has an absolutely massive amount of content and uh, playability and variability. Lots of hotels. I do want a new map. I need to get my map updated. Our edge of our map is uh, not far away, so it would be good to get a, a map. Hopefully we can grab one. Ah, another body site. Ruger, Celtic, Iris, Whiskey, Drugs, and nothing else I care about. Could be a map in that building right there on the uh, the counter, right at that spot, but I'm not going near it with this many zombies and Amigo in the area. We'll hope we can get a uh, map from the other motel right down the road. A little easier. Bad zombie. Another APC. Bunch of regular zombies. APC could possibly have ammo for, what, an M2? Mounted Browning, but it's broke, so probably no ammo in that. Let's just get their attention, pull them away from the building, and I'll circle back. The map, if there is one, is going to be right in this room right here on the counter. So we'll just uh, circle around a bit here. Oh, that's the farm with the barn. That's the dangerous one. Keep moving, zombies. I want that group to move right there. They're not gonna. Alright, let's... Ah, crap. Come on, you guys. Just relocate a tiny bit more. <laughs> That's all I ask. Oh, they're heading the wrong direction again. This neat. God dang it. Hit the street light. Got too cutesy with my maneuvering. Let go controls. Start running. Map. Tourist guide. That's all I wanted. Okay, map mission complete. We'll activate it here in a bit. Let's get out of the area. Our poor vehicle. <laughs> Been through a lot. Activate tourist guide. What do we got? So... Oh, man, it doesn't cover that far south. We got a little bit of western mapping done, but not much south. Everything's on the flip back side of that big, huge city. I have to roll all the way back down here to get over to the back side. And then our map runs out. That's all right. Grave site. Which grave? Does it have a katana? May you never walk again. May I not kill you again. I have no idea if that one has a katana. Some of them have katanas. If you're not aware. There's, there's a uh, a list of different grave sites. And I think three? Either two or three have katanas and you can tell which ones by the messages on the uh, the gravestone they're usually pop culture TV or movie references I 
That is not the sugar shack. Yeah, moonshine still. All right, game. It's about time for another uh, soldier site or an airdrop site with weaponry. Something. Well, there's a body site. Not the kind I want, though. Squirrel! <laughs> Alright, approaching the military helipad. Lots of zombies! On the back side, not on the front side where I'm at currently. Let's see what we got. No helicopter. Big old crowd of soldiers. Well, isn't that fun? Not a single special one, huh? I'm really wishing I had a grenade launcher. Oh, one acid guy, of course. Of course you got to be in there. All right, so trick number one, we need to get them to not smash gas pumps on their way out. Wow. You guys lost track of me already? Oh, I could dump them all in that crater. <laughs> but I, I actually want to kill the regular soldiers for the chance to get some grenades. Uh, I wish I could run them over. I can't afford to in this vehicle. So, let's go to here. The bilious is the only one I need to really worry about. Get the AR out. Oh. It already is out. Come to me, soldier mans. A couple at a time would be great. Ah, oh, the bilious is showing up. Did he, he hit me already, didn't he? God damn it. <laughs> Get me out of here. Yep, you were hitting the torso. You bastard. Big problem with him is he's going to hit me from further range than I can shoot him at unless I get out that 700. Everybody else I can deal with easily. Um... What were you? Forgot the name. Uh, that one, Remington 700. South of me, great. Uh, wield. Remington. Reload. Remington. Give me more 30-06. be next to my vehicle when I do this. Fire. 31% chance, huh? At this range. Ouch. We'll let him get just a little closer. Oh, he hits me from there! God damn, I hate these guys. Look at this. I'm barely doing any damage. <laughs> I hate these guys so much. Alright, we're going to sacrifice the vehicle. I'm going to run this Yahoo over. Hate these guys. Especially on a can't heal run. Hmm. 
No idea where he's at. Oh, I missed. It's gonna be funny as he's gonna step into the vehicle with me. Where the hell is he? <laughs> he's not in the vehicle. Where'd he go? Hiding back in the smoke somewhere. I think we'll get him if we go straight. Yay! <laughs> no. Where's the corpse? What you got? No grenades? No grenades. Some MREs. Well, I wasn't too impressed with the Remington damage. Traveling in a pack, are you? I don't like that either. No damage at all. They're heading down towards the sound of that Remington sh fire. Come on, spread out a little. I just need them to spread out a little tiny bit so they don't all show up at the same time. Then we're going to have to move, I think. He'll bleed to death. Woohoo! That was a little closer than I wanted. Uh, six shots left. It's going to take at least four to kill both of them.
I'm trying to keep all the bodies in a relatively tight area. This should finish them off right here. I've got 10 rounds. That should be plenty. Mm, got a few more coming from the north. Whoa. Nope. This guy, please. Oh, that other guy bled to death. We got, what, three to the north? Oh, no, those are uh, spotlights plus one. All right, cool. Don't run over the bodies. Reload the AR. More coming. Uh, they're coming through the building now. Reload anyway. Reload my magazine. And my other magazine. Hey, soldier zombie. You have nothing I care about. Nope. Stop it. Uh, M4, and again, nothing I care about. Come on, where's all the grenades? Grenades! More grenades! <laughs> Apparently this was the grenade carrier. I think I have a shovel, but we'll grab an E-tool just in case. More grenades! That's what I was doing this for. We're trading ammo for grenades. That's pretty much the entire point. None there. None there. I don't know. Should I grab some working plates? I guess I should grab some working plates while I'm doing it. Gas mass charges. Uh, all right, let's go drop some stuff off. Light amp goggles. <laughs> the easy way. Too bad I've already got multiples. Normally that would have made me really happy to get that dropped. 
Molly Large Ruck, huh? Hmm. What do you can do without? All right, got a few more up to the northwest. Middle card, and that's it. And nothing I care about. All right, did that get all of them? There's still a few more up here. Oh, there's still 21 more zombie soldiers up here. <laughs> did we get all of them? The answer is no. <laughs> we did not get all of them. What am I up to? Like eight grenades, I think. I don't need the goggles of either kind off the corpses, so I've already got enough backup plates that I don't need those. I got enough MREs and regular food in the world, and I'm not worried about that anymore. So, pretty much just trading bullets for grenades. Me and my zero throwing skill, probably. Oh, I had two throwing skill, actually. That's not too bad. Maybe I should uh, try throwing a grenade and getting myself killed, or take damage from shrapnel that way. Don't smash into the boulder, please. Ah, too grouped up. If I can use the cover of the building, if I can lure them to a little, like to the side, bunch them up, then I circle around, come back up uh, to this corner, get their attention, and then lob a grenade around the corner to hope to uh, hope to get a bunch of them at once. I loathe doing that because I'm I'd be using grenades to try to get grenades. easy to just keep shooting them. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
could pile them up on the searchlights. Actually, that might work. Problem would be getting them on a searchlight that I could then get a corner to throw grenades at them. These, these lengths are too long. And bullets. Out of bullets. I so want to whip a grenade out, throw it over there, <laughs> and then try to drive off. I so want to do it. Activate grenade, throw grenade. Not moving. <laughs> throw grenade. And we got good placement. Good placement. Pick up the speed, turn the vehicle. Really good placement. Are the rest of them pretty damaged? Eh, some of them are, some of them aren't. That guy might bleed to death. That guy also might bleed to death eventually. I think it would take at least one more grenade, and I, I dropped most of them in the back, I think. Yeah, I don't have any handy. And I'm deaf. Trying to avoid driving over the bodies with the wheels. That'll uh, destroy stuff. Uh-oh, he's too close. Yeah, I need to bring the vehicle to a stop each time before I try to fire. Oof, I thought he got into the hitchhiker position there. All right, I think that's it again. Okay, everything's reloaded. Big pile of corpses. I think there's still another group up north. 
that we can finish off. But um, that'll get us another big pile of loot plus the uh, access to the gas pumps. We haven't cleared the interior of the building yet. I'm not sure I'll bother going in there other than the warehouse. Um, I think I'm going to leave the, uh, the looting for the next episode, though. We'll, uh, we'll pick off where we left off, which is right here. <laughs> Save and quit. Save and quit, yes. Hopefully I get enough random bullets off of them to replace some of the ammo I expended. Um, but we had a good, uh, we had a good grenade. You'd be proud of me. I used a grenade and it actually worked pretty effectively. All right. Uh, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching everybody. As always, greatly appreciate you hanging out for some cataclysm dark days ahead. And, uh, I shall return tomorrow streaming something else. So, uh, I'm not sure what we got to pick a new game still for our, Community games, if we're going to do that again. Uh, maybe we'll take this weekend off while I still investigate some other games that we've got on the list to uh, to try to do. But um, have a great weekend. Uh, we'll return to more Cataclysm on Monday at the usual time, 4 o'clock Central U.S. Till then, stay safe out there.